What does a good day mean? When we connect with our inner peace amidst challenges, we can define that as a beautiful day. In the Bible, Paul advises, Do not fret about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Jesus guides us on how to be content with the simple things in life. In the Lord's Prayer, he taught, Give us this day our daily bread. It reflects the simplicity he wants us to explore life with. Jesus does not object the significance of huge investments and successes, but emphasizes that success should not define them. In his perspective, a day is gratifying if we do as God commands. Following his commandments means seeking him more. An excellent day requires some time set for prayer, reading of scriptures, and meditating on the word of God. It is the best formula for a satisfying Christian life. Peter reveals in chapter 3 verses 10 to 12, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him avoid evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. In our daily lives, God wants us to turn away from sin. He discloses that he dwells in the righteous and will endow them with calmness. He is our loving Father. Let us allow him to prevail in our lives through a word of prayer. If you can, pray this prayer every day. Let us pray. Dearest Father, I express my gratitude to you for the beautiful day you have created, for I will delight in it. Thank you for the ultimate gift of affection you have bestowed in my life. You sacrificed your only son for my sins, an act I cannot comprehend. For this is the day which the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Almighty Messiah, on this day, I request you to teach me your faithful ways in every aspect of my life. On my knees, I repent my sins. Keep my heart pure and full of compassion. Almighty Father, Please have mercy on me and never forsake. Your scripture has taught me that you dwell in those who embrace you. As your word says in Psalms 145, I will exalt you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, Lord, and you are greatly to be praised, and your greatness is unsearchable. On this new dawn, I invite you in my mind and soul. I will praise you with Psalm 5 that says, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. Ultimate Creator, you already know what the day entails, for you form every one of them. Receive my request for a rewarding day. Walk ahead of me as I travel to work, run errands, and even within the house. May your greatness reflect in my life and attract those who do not believe in you. I pray 
that you may allow me to touch one of the many wounded hearts in the vicinity. Many are suffering from pain and loneliness. You taught me to love, but sometimes it is not easy, for I am blinded by selfishness. Most powerful Jehovah, I request you to align my actions with your words as I start my day. I pray for a reasonable judgment that is approachable. I am highly encouraged to embrace wisdom. Your word says, in Proverbs 4, verses 5 to 6, Get wisdom. Develop good judgment. Don't forget or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her, and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. Lord, I want to inherit this great attribute. It is far more valuable than gold or silver. I open my hands to receive it and share it out to the whole world. A universe based on wisdom is the climax of God's love, and love defeats all evil. Divine Father, help me to deal with situations that may close my path today. Kindly protect me throughout this day. I declare protection over any harm as I do my tasks. Cover my steps with your son's precious blood. Most powerful Lord, I present my plea on family reconciliations. Merciful Lord, restore the relationships in my family's lives by repairing the damages done. Lord, I pray that you bless all my interactions today with my family, co-workers, and strangers. Let your divine peace enter every conversation and every heart today. Let me not rise to anger or conflict today, Lord. Give me peace and the wisdom to handle any situation that may come my way today. Merciful Lord, Sometimes I get restless, overwhelmed and confused. At this weakest point of my life, I request your guidance. Let your word shine like a guiding star and enable me to stay firm in my faith. Kindly assist me in keeping in mind the promises of your word. May I learn to connect your holy words in every situation of my life. Please guide me to use the knowledge to win more followers for your Father. For your name is a light under my feet and along my path. Let your light shine through me, Lord. It will keep me safe and contented. I hunger to know about you, Lord. Connect me with the right channels that through your mercy I may spread the gospel to anyone I come across. Remove panic and nervousness in mind, O Lord. Keep on elevating me above my enemies, for I know that your spirit is not fearful but full of love and power. I pray for this strength till evening and an opportunity to share your divine love with others. Strengthen my heart and soul not to worry about the impending future, for you encourage me to trust in you, for in you, Lord, I never lack. My worries block me from achieving my ambitions. I place all of them in your hands. Overturn my anxieties to prosperities, since your ways supersede any other. I am at peace since you got my back. I know that you are reconstructing my life today. I am reassured that I am a child of the Most High God. Assist me to remember my worth in everything I do. I will remain forever indebted for this new day, for it is a new dawn. I am blessed. I belong to you and submit myself to you forever. Amen. Make sure you subscribe to the new Line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description.